Okay, we're going to get started on adding our designer paper to your photo play folio. But before we get started, a few things. If you are planning on only making one of these folios, be sure you get one of these 8x8 papers and put it away. What you don't want to do is be cutting into the, these papers and then when you're getting ready to um, build your cover, you don't have one. Because <laughs> we, we build the cover at the very end. So go ahead and put this paper away. Also from the 8x8 collection, this plaid paper. This is also on the front cover here and a little strip right here. So you are going to need one of these. So put this plaid paper away. And also from the 8x8 collection, this polka dot paper. This is all I have left. So you want to make sure you have enough to do this and this. So put one of these away. That way when you're building this cover you have plenty of paper. So that's it. So let's get started. We're going to be building the inside flap right here first. Hi guys. So here is we're going to be doing page one, page two, page three. So just get your your um, folio the photo play folio for that we already built, that you already built, and hopefully it's in black. That's what we're using. We're going to start with this left inside pocket. So you're going to go to your 8x8 pad of Night Before Christmas, and you're going to be pulling out this, this sheet. Now, you can either measure the distance from here to that fold, that first fold, or you can do what a lot of people do. Get your paper, just put it down, put a little tick mark there with pencil and cut it. That's the easiest way to do it. I can tell you the, the, me the measurements I have, they may not be exactly what you will need, because these folds, everyone's fold may be a little bit different. It should be close, and these, these are going to be approximately three and a half by six and almost a half. But make sure you cut yours to fit your left inside, this left inside panel. So I've already cut mine. And I've inked it, so I am using Vintage Photo, and I've already inked my edges, and I've already applied my score tape. Now, you can affix this any way you want. I'm a score tape kind of person, um, just because I don't like to mess with glue, and if I make a mistake, I really can't undo my glue. And I like that the paper never wrinkles, never warps. Um, but you apply whatever kind of adhesive you like. So this is <laughs> on the tutorial on how to build this left um, front flap right here. I made a boo-boo, so I'm redoing this. So what I want you to do is you're going to be using this a pattern, Christmas pattern paper from the 8x8 collection and cutting it to fit here. This is essentially just six and a half minus an eighth of an inch lengthwise. And mine is pretty tight here, three and a half going across this way. Go ahead and you can cut that and you're going to get this cut apart from the 12 by 12 collection. I matted mine in black. Um, 
and I just made a little pocket out of it. So we just glued it in on three sides. Do not put this paper down until you've finished your cover. That was a big mistake because I ended up having to undo my paper because I forgot the magnets. So when we get to the cover, we don't add the, the magnets till the very end. So don't even attach this piece. Just leave it, cut it and put it to the side, put everything to the side and don't attach this or you can attach it just on one side here if you want, but leave it so we can you can add the magnets later on, and you can add this little ribbon flap right here that's going to be part of the front front cover. So do that. Pretty easy page. What I ended up doing is covering up one of my magnets with this little mouse, which actually is really cute because it does go along with was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring not even a mouse so that does fit there so don't attach this okay so now we're going to go on and we're, we'll be making the the little tag that goes in here at the very end when we do all our tags so now we're going to go on to this first accordion piece. Remember, we, we are doing this one that's laying in this direction. So for this one, you are going to be locating this. This is from the 8x8 also. Locate this paper. We're going to be putting the, the dots down. Go ahead and find your measurements again. Mine is approximately five and three quarters, approximately by six and almost a half again, but not quite a half. Measure yours, make sure you get your measurements. So I'm going to put some white paper under there so it's easier to see. So once again, I put score tape on mine and I am going to affix this down. So I will be right back after I pull my score tape and get it down. This, this is from the 8x8. Eight eight. You cut out all these little, little cards. So you're going to be pulling out this card the little chimney. So get that card. Here's mine. Pull my tape off here. So here's my card. I've already inked the edges. Make sure you do ink all your edges. It, it just looks so much nicer. So you got this card. Now with this we are going to be attaching some of these words. So we've already done, "'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse." So that we already have on this first flap. Now we're going to be doing, "'The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there.'" So you're going to be cutting out this strip that says the stockings were hung by the chimney with care. So let me just show you how I cut this one. So I am cutting it just, you know, I'm using those dots as, can you see it? I'm using these dots on the paper as my, my line as I'm cutting. So I'm using these dots on the paper as my, my line as I'm cutting. And then right above this, this piece, these triangles. So you're going to get this piece and I just, you cut it all the way across. But you're going to cut in between the stockings were hung by the chimney with care and then you're going to cut in between that in hopes that St. Nicholas 
would soon be there. Now I cut out this bottom part on this piece, so we're just left with this top piece. So here are the two pieces that you're going to be cutting. You're going to be cutting this all the way through. Just cut this whole thing out. And then go ahead and cut in between chimney with care, right after the apostrophe, cut it right before in hopes. So get those pieces cut. And then what you're going to be doing is you're going to be applying this first goes this way, I believe. You're going to be applying it to red card stock. Let me see, something like this. And then you're going to have this card right under, I kind of use that little stripe pattern, the candy cane pattern. I apply my red edge right to that candy cane pattern so I can kind of get a straight line as I'm putting this down. And then once you get those two put down, you will be putting this at the bottom. And these are gonna basically be right next to the red. It's going to be right next to the red. So here we're going to have the stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. And you're gonna to have to trim this red um, cardstock down so it's just kind of giving it a border all the way around. Make sure you do ink the edges. You, you wanna give it more of that vintage -y look. So when you ink the edges, it just, it just looks nicer, especially this bottom one. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these, and I'm going to be using my, my score tape. You can use whatever adhesive you like, and I do it real slow so I don't bore you with you watching me struggle to get everything lined up, but I'll be back and show you what I have once I'm done. Okay, so let me show you what I have. So this is it backed. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. So it's all on my eight, um, my eight, on my red card stock. This is just to remind me that this is all from the eight by eight pack. Now what you're going to do with this piece, we're gonna make a flap. So we're, our, we are going to put it on black cardstock. So you're going to measure yours. Yours may be a little bit different than mine. Just the way you attach these pieces. So you're gonna measure yours, have your, I, I kinda got a little too close so I don't have enough um, black reveal on my sides here but hey good enough and then you're going to have an extra half inch this direction so here is this card here's this black card stock so it's the this direction you're going to add an extra half an inch because we're going to score it at that half an inch we're going to fold it and we're going to be make, putting a flap right here. So we're going to attach this to that black cardstock and then we're going to attach it, this hinge is going to be flush with the top, centered from side to side. So I am going to attach this and then attach this little flap and I'll be right back. Okay, so got this attached. 
Now we will be covering this up when we do a little photo mat under here um, at the very end. So we got this. Now we, you are going to find, this is also from the 8x8, you're going to find a sheet that has all these. And you're going to be cutting out these little kids with their stockings. And you are going to cut it from the candy cane on top of the candy cane to the bottom of the candy cane. So it's going to be like this. So you're going to cut, just cut this strip out and then you're going to ink it, ink the edges. I guess you don't have to ink it right away because we're going to be cutting this again. So once you get this cut out of this page, you're going to be attaching this just on three sides as a little tuck spot down here. Now, when I do this, this is me. You can just attach it starting from here and then just cut it. But when I look at it, I go, I don't want this little girl cut in half. Can I do it here? Well, now, well, this one might work. She's, if I start there, then this little boy is going to be kind of cut. So I just kind of march it down to see, is there a place where I can get it so I can go in between these little kids and not cut, cut them? That wasn't it where I found a place. I think it was right here with this this one and then it would end with this little green boy. Let's see here. Does this work green boy? Yeah. So I'm going to try that. You you play around with yours and find where you want to cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. It's going to be the total length of your paper. You're going to ink ink it, ink all around it once you cut it, and then you are going to be applying glue just on the sides, at the bottom, and at the sides again. And then I'll meet you back after that. Now, after I've made so many mistakes, I've already used all my 8x8 pad of this paper because I'm using it for the cover and I don't want to cut into my cover paper. I put that aside. So I pulled out my 12x12 12 12 and it looks fine. It looks fine. You're not going to really notice the difference in the pattern. This one's just a little bit larger, but the page is larger, so it looks fine. So what you're going to do is you're going to find this either in your 8x8 or your 12x12. 12 12. Measure it. Don't get it too close to the spine. You want this to be able to turn over easily and not get stuck. Go ahead and attach it. I'm going to attach it using my score tape. <laughs> And then we'll be right back. Okay, I don't know what happened. My, my camera just stopped, so I'm going to start this page all over again. I have no idea what happened. So, basically, you're going to get cut this piece, you're going to ink it, and you're going to put it down just on this one side, just in case we need to use put a magnet in here. And I'll, I'll let you guys know because I'm not liking the way this is sitting down. I want it to be flat. I did put this extra flap in here, so it's giving it a little bit more bulk. So I will let you guys know. But for now, just put your paper in on one side and leave it just in case we do need a, mat, a magnet. We, we might not. Next thing, you're going to go to your stash of these cut aparts from the 8x8 Visions of Sugar Plums. So get this out, cut it, you know, with that tan border all the way around it. Then you're going to go to this 8x8 sheet. I've cut mine, so you're just seeing parts of it. You're going to find the sentiments that say the children 
were nestled all snug in their beds. And that's going to continue while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Cut that whole strip out, leaving just a, you can't see that, leaving just a little white border around the entire strip. So what we're going to do with this, we're going to be placing it somewhere up here. The children were nestled, you can't see it, the children were nestled all snug in their beds. And then you're going to have while, the while word. Now this while word was actually cut from the 12 by 12 and not the eight by eight. You don't have to cut the 12 by 12. You can use the eight by eight while. I just want it, it a little bit larger. So it's gonna say, while visions of sugar plums. Here's my last one. It's gonna be somewhere down here danced in their heads so so cut that that out from that 8 by 8 sheet and if you want to do the while from the 12 by 12 you can or you can just use the while from the 8 by 8 make sure you cut it after snug in their beds period snug in their beds period cut the while is a standalone and danced in their Heads is a standalone, so cut those, ink the edges. I'm gonna put mine off to the side. I've lost them so many times. I can't, they're so tiny, I lose them. So now, what are we going to do? We're gonna take this card, and I wanna show you a die that I use. Now, I use this for my fairy, um, my fairy album also. This is just a nesting die. It's called Nested Wood Frame Shape. I got it from Joann's. It was like 50% off. I didn't know what I would use it for. I didn't even know what it would look like. But I used it and I really liked it. Let me show you what it looks like in this book. So here's the accordion on this book. Here is that nesting die on this um, this album. It's it's beautiful. It's a nice, it just has an airy look to it. I really like it. Now, if you don't have this die or you have another die that would work, that's fine too. So what I did is I cut out the red using this die. So I cut out the red and my plan is to I'm going to back my red, because this is real, I don't know if you can tell, it's pretty airy, lightweight. I'm going to attach this to black cardstock, just to have a little black border around it. But I'm only going to attach it just on this side, at the rim of this side, because what I want to do is slide this card in here and get it centered. I want to get everything centered so there's there should be just a little bit of black showing on top of the card and on the bottom of the card. But I want to get that nice and centered and then I'm going to adhere this card down. This is going to be adhered down. And what we're going to be doing is then, once this gets down, we're going to be putting our sentiments on the red border itself. So it be, the children were nestled all snug in their beds. It'll be on this top part of the frame. And then I'll put my while over here. And then I'll put danced in their heads down here somewhere. But we do not want to attach, remember, you do not want to attach any frame that you do have all the way down because we want to be able to slide this in and get it centered. So go ahead and get these cut out and inked. Go ahead and if you don't have a die, 
just go ahead and get a red cardstock and kind of put this on red cardstock so you have like a little border around it and then put that on top of black cardstock. So I'm going to do all that and I'll come back and I'll show you what I have. So I got my card in there. It looks pretty good centered in there. I haven't completely pulled all the tape off. I just wanted to show it to you. So I'm going to pull the rest of the tape off. And I'm just going to show you something. This is this is my madness. See the little black edge on this side versus the black edge on this side? I look at it and I go, oh my god, this edge is so much larger than this edge. Is anyone going to notice it? No. But now that I notice it, it's one of those things I have to cut it. I'm going to try to trim just a sliver off and hopefully I won't ruin it because I've done that too. Like my husband always tells me, the enemy of good is better. This is like 95% good, not perfect. But let's see if I can make it perfect or if I have to start all over. So wish me luck. So this is what I cut off. So I have a dolly um, paper trimmer that will cut like slivers of paper. So it won't wrinkle the paper like a regular paper trimmer will. So there, now I'm happy with that. <laughs> now I'm happy. So now, next what we're going to do we are going to attach the children were nestled all snug in their beds. We're going to put this up here in this corner. So we're going to attach it somewhere around there. I'll, I'll fiddle with the placement I think about right there. And then I'm going to put the while right here up in this corner visions of sugar plums and I'm going to put dance in their heads. I'm not sure if I want to go off or stay on the center. So I'm going to fiddle with that and see how I like it. Where do I want to put this? Do I want to put this? I'll play with, I'll play with it and you can play with it and put it wherever you like it. You can center this. If you want to center this the children were nestled all snug in their beds and center this. That's fine too. So I'll be right back. So this is what I came up with. I decided to keep it centered. So now we have this little piece. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. So this part is just going to be adhering it to the bottom edge down here, centering it, and then just attaching it on three sides. You can do that any way you want with glue or with tape, and then we'll have um, this little pocket up in here to put some, some stuff in that we'll come back later and make. So go ahead and do that and I'll attach mine and I'll see you after I get mine done.